There's been a little confusion about what this phone can do for audio, during the press event labeling this as the front speaker. Well, it is a speaker, but one just for phone calls. Our review unit doesn't pull off the stereo speaker trick found on competing handsets. And with that little bit of clarity out of the way, audio expectations for the OnePlus 5 were pretty high. The 3T outperformed most of the flagships re-reviewed last year, but this year, premium phone manufacturers are taking audio a lot more seriously. Competition is always great for the consumer, but can OnePlus continue to undercut the price and deliver the ear candy? Let's take a listen. Starting off with that speaker performance, we're about par for the course on a mono bottom firing speaker. Anymore, this test is becoming an ever diminishing listen at the minutia of differences between phones which highlight low or high frequency sound or deliver a decibel more or less gain. That said, the OnePlus 5 competes very well against similar solutions. Apologies for repurposing that track from our main review, but the differences between the wah wah wahs and the saxophones is what caught my ear in testing, and it's reproduced here well for mono audio. Now, moving on to headphone performance, a nice little nod from the company during the phone's reveal. Including a headphone jack is great, but not all headphone jacks are created equal. We're happy to report that OnePlus did not rest on their laurels from the 3T. We do see improvements to this hardware. First, this DAC is now capable of true blue 32-bit playback and can reproduce frequencies of sound that even dogs cannot hear. And over the 3T, we see slight improvements to noise and dynamic range. In terms of quality, these numbers are almost identical to the Galaxy S8. In addition to quality, there's also a small but noticeable improvement to amp output. This is likely the feature people will recognize most readily. The output power dictates how well a phono port will drive nicer headphones, and the OnePlus 5 will outperform all but the top tier options like the Axon 7 or LG V20. And a quick word on software, OnePlus includes an audio tuner to help spruce up tracks, might be nice on some genres of music, especially on compressed audio files. It really does monkey with EQ, so it's not exactly my cup of tea, but it might be up your alley depending on your tastes. So let's wrap this up. Where does that leave us with the audio on the OnePlus 5? Well done, OnePlus. Well done indeed. We'd really like to see more manufacturers start pointing at least one loudspeaker at our collective faces. Though, that will become increasingly difficult with current designs eliminating foreheads and chins. The OnePlus 5 performs well enough, it's just been a while since we were really impressed by a phone speaker. No, the real victory here comes from one of the more polarizing legacy ports on a phone. There are some great Bluetooth solutions available, we're hoping to see more data port DACs and adapters, and Android sorely needs better support for USB audio. That leaves the 3.5mm headset jack as the last universal solution for folks who want high quality audio consistently and the freedom to use whatever headphones or earbuds they wish, with the convenience of moving from one gadget to another. No alternative solution is anywhere near as mature. Which makes the story here all the sweeter. It's not enough to just include the port, you have to back it up with some solid guts. Yet again, punching above its price tag the OnePlus 5 delivers. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for our full OnePlus 5 coverage, including our in-depth real camera review, and stay tuned for a few more comparisons. Click the bell icon to make sure you don't miss anything, and help us out with some sharing on your favorite social networks and news sites. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next review.